back end of a Jeep, a Jeep Wrangler, and a very rusted out Jeep Wrangler, but all these control arm bushings are bad. Now, this job might not be one you even want to tackle, one of those ones you just ignore, but they don't want to ignore it, we're gonna fix it, or try to at least. Um, so far, um, I failed on the front too. I got the rear left done. Here's the rear right. I'm gonna bring you along and show you how I do it or don't do it. Um, I don't know how to take your tire off. This is a big, fancy, pretty Jeep. So it's got a whole lot of fancy stuff on it. Jurassic Park Edition. So first thing I'm gonna do is hit it with some fire. Now, if you're gonna be doing this job and you don't have like air, air tools or anything like that, just stop and take it to a shop or take it to your buddy who can cut. Because essentially what happens is these bolts get stuck in the bushing. And I mean stuck. Nothing that can get these out. So I'm gonna try some patience, like I did on the other side, tons of fire, and bring you guys along. We're gonna start with this one right here. So it's a 21 millimeter nut and 21 millimeter bolt head. We go, before we go any further, let's see if it'll budge. the nut. That's not even the bolt yet, that's just the nut. Okay, so it's spinning. Like I said, that, that doesn't seem like a lot, but that's good. That means it is free inside that uh, bushing. Right now our problem is this nut is just stuck on there. So what I'm doing is I switched over to, I'm gonna get a, a shallow 21 millimeter and with the 18 inch extension so that it, it's hitting against this plate right here so I can hold that bolt still. So I think it's loosened up enough now where I can actually start trying to force it out. There you have it. Okay. 
hit it a couple times just to free up this backside. Okay, got my saw. All right, got that out. So it's moving. That's good. I'm gonna spray it down. And I'm gonna beat it back in. There we go. Spray it down again. Spray it down on the back side. Good now. All right. Now that I'm confident that's going to come out, that was just one. Now we have another. camera's overheated so it's probably going to keep happening uh, so essentially all I've been doing is the same thing I did with the front fire oil I finally got this the whole key is getting that bolt to spin which I got it to spin there you go now the bolt is it's loose the nuts off I just gotta create another space. Oh. Got it. There we go. Alright. So now let's shove a wrench right here. That bolt out. I'm gonna do the same to here. Oh, and I can't do that. Ah. Okay. There's that. stuck it is in there. There, just don't want to shoot the bolt across the garage. Have to go get it. Look at that. Got it. Like I said, it is possible without cutting the whole thing up. You can see how just pushed out those bushings are. Yeah, look at that. Those are just completely shot. But that's it's a steel sleeve in there that that gets cut it uh, caught into. So it just gets rusted up. You just got to knock it all loose. So these look pretty much the same, except just better. Um, but I'm gonna put them back exactly how I took it off. So this giant ring, it's gonna face me on both sides. No ring, giant ring. All right, took a break to cool off, camera overheated again. Got a fresh battery, got a cold GoPro. So I, I did, I did uh, remove all of the debris as best I could on the insides. And uh, I put that other bolt on, obviously not tightened it. 
Okay, so this has got to go through. All right, so I want to put this through the back. But it's so much easier if you, I do this side through the front, like so. Because this isn't just going to go straight in, as you can tell. Well, probably not, but the holes don't line up right away. Just because these be pushing. So we just got to we got to get it best we can to get it lined up. Maybe I could try it from the other side. Yeah, it'd be so much easier if you went through this side, but because I'm filming, you guys would tear me a new one if I did that. So, that's it, take it there. Same for the rear. Pull the nut like so. And then drive it in. Alright, that's it. That job sucks. So if it's seized in there like this, just expect an hour to hour and a half per side. All four lower patrol arms are the same exact part number. Same exact style, same exact bolts. It's just two in the front, two in the rear. And, all right, man, that sucked. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.